Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying cross splits. This has uh, been on my list for a minute and um, I'm still in the Steam Next Fest. So if you're seeing this like three weeks from now, yeah, I mean, I've been busy. Okay. All right. So um, we, uh, I couldn't do the title. I've actually been playing into the demo a little bit because I wanted to um, get a, a solid grasp of the mechanics before I start actually playing. Um, I really like this game so far. It's basically a single player casualized kind of CCG, uh, almost like Magic the Gathering. Um, some people are going to gripe with that definition, but I, I feel there is definitely some magic influence in this game. Um, it's hard to make a card game that doesn't have some magic influence, but um, this one definitely reads as having a lot of magic influence. But uh, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna be jumping into a combat. There's a pretty interesting story. I actually kind of like it. It's very charming. The dialogue is very snappy. But um, I am gonna be focusing on mostly the gameplay. Um, so we are playing as Redcroft. So we have a Redcroft starter. I will try and uh, kind of summarize mechanics and um, also some gameplay stuff. My name's Eve. Lion boy, remember it. Pardon me, Miss Eve. Didn't mean to insult you. Uh, the short, long and short notes is that our character is looking for a ship. There you go, that's it. Why are you being polite to this she-imp? She tried to kill us. All part of the red code, Braxy. How chivalrous. Um, rare in this day and age, especially among pirates. A shame I have to end the life of such a charmer. We'll be seeing about that, Miss Eve. Have a chi. Arr. Yeah, we're pirates, also. Um, the art style in this game is super charming. I like it a lot. Um, I was, uh, you know, I'm always a little bit hesitant when a game actually looks really decent because I'm like, oh, is it, is it, is that what, what's, uh, selling this game for a lot of people or does it genuinely have something to show for itself when it comes to the gameplay? The gameplay is super deep and very, very compelling and I really like it a lot and I definitely will probably pick this up day one. Um, it's been that good. So the first thing we're going to do is decide the turn order. This is decided via rock, paper, scissors. If there's a tie, then it just decides randomly, as it just did. Boom. So the opponent's going to go first. The second thing that happens is we choose whether or not we want to mulligan. You can mulligan any card, like any amount of cards you want. Um, I have, this is actually a very good set, so I'm going to go ahead with this. Good to have a, a spread of uh, different costing cards. The cost is at the top. Um, we've done away with lands, which, uh, you know, yay! <laughs> and we've gone with, uh, kind of Hearthstone's, uh, mana building, um, you know, consistent mana building thing. Boo! No, it's fine. I, I like this, uh, style, and I think my favorite thing about this game is, I'm not sure if it's gonna be multiplayer. I, I kind of hope, it says single player. I, I kind of hope it is, they just make this a single player. Like, I wouldn't mind battling with friends, of course. Why Why are my hands over there? That was weird. Oh, maybe, oh, oh that's, that's so I can uh, see the board better. I actually didn't know about that. I kind of hope they just keep this a really good single player card battler because for me personally, I do like CCGs. I like them in concept, but I don't like them in, in uh in practice because they they seem very exploitative to me i mean they're basically gambling and they're basically capitalizing fomo and all of those things that i talk about a lot but um you know anyway let's uh, let's jump into the game um so i've got a very pirate themed deck and i mean that makes sense i'm a pirate but also uh it means that my cards are are genuinely building into a pirate faction you can see um our our uh, rig beak here uh, above the title of the card it says it's a pirate and so is this other rig beak and so is this buccaneer that matters because certain cards will build into piracy like ship cannon after you summon a pirate minion da deal two pyro damage to a random enemy so you can see that like right uh very very quickly um you will you you, you see kind of like some faction play I've also got a relic. This took a little time to earn. You don't get one right away, but this is after you summon your first pirate minion each turn, give it rush. Um, relics are very, very powerful and they build into factions. Um, our friend here actually has one as well, which sucks actually. <laughs> Combat start deal damage equal to the number of cards you've played this turn to a random enemy minion. That sucks. And then start the game with Elda. Elda is a ranged four, four attack power card with two health. Swift Strike, 
it also has plunder it's a it, that, that's a really good relic it is what we're what we're getting here but i got a pirate out and i gave it rush um rush is very self-explanatory if you have played magic it's basically haste um they did summon a card deal one damage to a battle to an enemy uh i believe this card gets has tough and tough is basically just a damage reduction one which is nice so it can actually withstand some some blows um so let's go ahead and throw out our pirate or our, uh, our parrot i like the parrot a lot it's a really decent card um it's going to let me draw a pirate and then um, reduce the cost of all my pirates by two or sorry by one um, and that's going to allow me to play actually a second pirate right away I don't think I want to do that, but the nice thing about it is if I play it now, the card, my, uh, my pirate will be reduced forever, like until I play it. Um, so I'll just like, you know, let this go for now. I don't know if, can I reach guys in the back? No. So you need a ranged unit to reach a ranged unit. So this is really bad because I'm going to be taking damage, uh, every single turn, every single combat turn. And uh, meanwhile, they can hit my units, but that's actually not a bad thing because that means they're gonna uh, my, my units are gonna be blocking the, that for a damage So what I really want to do is actually get this ship cannon out because this ship cannon is gonna be doing two damage to a random unit um, It doesn't say it says to random to a random enemy The interesting thing about this is it can also include the uh, the enemy like player like you're trying the goal of the game is to reduce their health points so this can actually do player damage which is really kind of neat um so let's go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and throw uh, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about what's going on here but we're gonna throw that out there so we did do player damage in a way that's actually bad for us i was kind of hoping we could um uh you know have taken care of this card but we'll take it We'll take it for now the good news is on the next turn i'm gonna have uh, be able to play the the second cannon and also our parrot which is going to reduce our brown tooth so we're going to be able to play that as well also a pirate by the way so we're going to be able to do uh throw out a second cannon and then two pirates so we'll be doing four random damage so you might notice the kind of interplay with combat there um creatures will attack each other so it works like exactly as in magic um, turn order is basically the same as magic, like there is a combat phase, um, you know, certain cards will have things that let them take, you know, do damage without taking damage, um, there's a couple of, you know, loops, it, it feels very magic, is all I'm saying. Um, there, the only thing I haven't really seen, um, from magic are, like, instant cards and, like, cards that let you interrupt actions. It's been very kind of turn-based um, without any kind of like meta turns or in-between turns. So this is a great turn. Um, I'm a little bit worried. This is the lowest health I've had yet, but I think that we have a chance here to do some something good. Um, so I'm going to throw this cannon here. I don't want these cannons to get hurt or damaged. So I'm going to throw out pirate. Boom. So that's two damage dealt to that guy. That's a another two damage thrown out and oh, I don't have enough. Oh, I did this wrong. Oh, no Wait a minute. What? That guy was reduced That guy was reduced. I thought I had one mana to spare. I Thought I was gonna be able to play this guy reduce the cost of all your minions in your hand by one Did I just like straight up play this wrong? I guess uh, I was I, I meant to play the rig beak first so that was just like a hundred percent my bad I might actually lose because of that in fact I'm pretty sure I do lose oh no oh no can we restart forfeit battle yeah let's just forfeit battle I, I mean I already lost anyway ah that's such a bummer what a what a horrible misplay okay hold on let's try it again it was a such a botched warm-up you'll see um we do have a character level so i'm level four and you get some passives um you can kind of like you know the game very much encourages you to double triple down on one of these they have different play styles which is kind of nice um 
And I haven't gotten one of these cards yet, so I'm in, I am interested to see how that goes. So your turn with four plus four pyro damage. Okay, so that can that could be really interesting. So let's uh let's give it another go on that. Uh, imp, whatever whatever her deal is. It doesn't look like there's any penalization for losing, which is fine by me. Um, and like the 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 nature of the game is fairly open ended. Like you don't have to. Um, you know, if you're, you're finding a, a combat is quite difficult, you could go, uh, you know, explore the rest of the world. Like, yes, it's routed. You, like, you know, you, it's not like it's open world or anything like that. But you can go and, like, explore and do other things that you think might be easier. Um, check other boxes. Uh, you get money, so you could, like, buy some cards at the shop. Maybe you could check the shop again later and see if it's got some new cards or different cards. Um, I should have re-rolled that seafaring ape that was that was a bummer that was a bad thing triggers after this card destroys a minion so okay i wonder if that's gonna okay we can play bull uh, buccaneer because they get tough um and they'll pro oh they might they'll, they're, they're gonna die anyway i'm just concerned that this person is gonna get plus one plus one after it kills my minion it looks like no it doesn't get that plus one plus one so we're still going to be taking four damage, which sucks, but um, we did manage to knock up, knock them down a peg. An easy mark. The fact that they have uh, these are um, you'll notice in the top left corner, this guy's got a um, they're they're a mage. They do arcane. Uh, arcane uh, are the only cards that you can put in either um, either lane. I haven't really talked about the lanes because. They are fairly self-explanatory, but I guess I should do... I should talk about the lanes. But basically, archers can go in the back, or they have to go in the back. Um, melee goes in the front, and then arcane can go in either. So you have a lot of flexibility, a lot of tactical uh, flexibility with arcane. Um, so this is not a great situation to be in, but I guess I can block these two attacks coming in. Apparently I can hit them. I th oh, is it this is the only one that I can't hit? Strikes minions without taking return damage. Oh, that's why that's happening. So you can hit them in the back with melee. It's just that this one card. This this is a really difficult card to get rid of on the board. So um, Eve here makes use of doubloons. She's got a completely different kind of playstyle. And there are quite quite a few different play styles when it comes to this game, which I, I do really appreciate. Did we take another four damage. Oh, she got to kill my creature without doing combat. That is a bummer. Um, if I put the cannon on the field, they're gonna take damage no matter what. Um, I'm probably gonna lose this again. I should go and do a different combat. I should listen to my own advice. Yeah, so um, Eve gets to make use of doubloons. I can't remember how, but there's certain cards that will get doubloons, which are basically free mana. So we're very close to the, the wire here. After you play a pirate minion, give it plus two power and rush. Um, this is a great card. Spin Blade will basically do damage to everyone on the field. But it's not going to save me. I, I'll, I'll play it. But it's not gonna save me. What? Oh, I'm looking at my health and thinking that's my mana. Okay, I, I straight up lose this. All right, let's um, let's go and uh, see if we can do a different combat. I up until literally this one combat, I've been winning like consistently. So, you know, part pardon me for thinking I was gonna steamroll. Um, let's see here. Let's, uh, I don't know if maybe you can replay old combats to grind up your level. I, I actually don't know if I would be great with that. Looks like you can fight old combats. Um, what I'd like to do is check out the store and see if they've got anything new. This is the card shop. These kind of do look new. I've got the best cards. The best! So we've got another pirate here. I think these are ones I already bought, though. But like, if I wanted to, I could buy some more of these. I do really like the Buccaneer. It's actually really decent for what it is. 
So I don't know. I think we've got more or less the same cards here that I saw the first time. We should look at um, deck building. And no, not that kind of deck building. This is a this game genuinely is um, like a deck builder in the in the original sense in that you build a deck before you go into combat. You can buy cards. You're not like doing the roguelike thing where you're choosing like one of three cards. You're getting resources at the end of combats to buy like to to earn cards. So it's um, a little bit more traditional than uh, than the recent deck building craze. So if you're if you're tired of deck builders in the new sense, then then this might uh, appease you a bit more. Um, so let me see here. This pirate recruit, I don't think that they have any advantages over having um, buccaneer. There is a there is a kind of a I won't say a limit to how many different cards you can put in your deck uh, in the sense that there's like common, uncommon, rares, legendaries. You can only put a certain number of each of those and that's laid out pretty um, simply on the right here. So for instance, Rigbeak is a rare, um, so you can only have two Rigbeaks in your deck. Brown Tooth is a uncommon, so you can only have four. Um, you can only have one legendary. I believe that's laid out pretty... Uh, it's laid out somewhere uh, very you know, very easily um so what i'm going to do is actually i'm going to take out our pirate recruits or at least i'm going to take out two pirate recruits and i'm going to put in two buccaneers because the buccaneers are just straight up better they do the same damage um they're still pirates but they have tough and that is going to allow them to take some extra damage um we could put some brown tooth in i like the brown tooth the problem with the brown tooth is they need to die in order to get a minion in my hand so that's kind of a bummer um but not a terrible card i do like the the, the brown tooth let me see if there's anything i would take out for another brown tooth i like the rig beaks are just straight up better than the brown tooth so i would never take out a rig beak for a brown tooth um so yeah, and you can also like, in, this has very good filtering options, so I could like filter just pirates, so I could look at just pirates here. I could look at type, um, I can look at rarity, it's it's actually a really, really decent interface. Um, I can check out my relics, I don't have any other relics, so, uh, so I'm going to save that, and I guess we'll have to just try that combat one more time. Maybe, maybe I'm just like, uh, I mean, if I hadn't botched those plays so badly, I might have had a better chance. If I hadn't finished every other combat, then we could we could do a different combat. Um, let's do rock. I like that they explained to me how to play rock, paper, scissors in the bottom right corner here. Alright, so this is actually very good. Um, I might re-roll the pirate recruit because I want... I want the buccaneer. That's actually not bad. The fact that they get... Elda right away sucks the big one. I hate that. All right, um, we're gonna play Grog. This is gonna give us armor and let us play a, um, a draw card, which is nice. I play Pot of Greed. Let's me draw two additional cards. Um, so I might have to. Uh, so I get. I have two armor. The armor doesn't go away at the end of your turn, but I mean, if you take the damage, the armor is gone. These are pretty self-explanatory um, mechanics. Also, I guess um, I haven't really mentioned this either. There is summoning sickness, so that's a thing. I'm wondering... I'm kind of thinking about what I need to do here. Um, they're about to do some nasty damage to me. And I'm wondering, like, there's no way to stop this. I mean, I could put a, pir a, a beak on the field just to get something on the field, do some damage, draw another card. Um, the problem is, is I have this spin blade, and the spin blade is better played after you've put things on the field. But I want to put the, um, the, the ship cannon on the field next turn. So I'm probably going to take, like... 12 damage before I deal any back but the good news is that if I can get some of these uh these things out in the field that sucks they just immediately killed my card 
Yeah, this uh, this is a really tough battle. I it hasn't been this tough. If I could draw another spin blade, oh perfect, perfect. We're good. We're actually good. I can actually kill their stuff. Thank goodness. Amazing. And we'll throw a buck beak on the uh, a rig beak on the field. That's gonna let me draw a card, and um, I'm actually good. Um, on the next turn, I guess I'll still have to play a ship ship cannon without anything else. But the good news is that the the we finally got rid of that really nasty card. Add three doubloons to your hand, so she's gonna have like a ridiculous amount of mana. So she can play basically play whatever she wants right now, which is uh kind of a bummer. She's gonna have whatever the heck she. Yo, how much mana do you need though? How much? Uh, actually, how much mana did that card cost? Oh, don't, don't, don't kill my card. No! Damn it. Um, having a saw blade is nice and all, but, um, hmm. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to throw the ship cannon on the field. <sighs> Should have spin bladed first. I'll spin blade now. Because it, ha it having two health is actually very helpful for me because it means that when I actually do my ship cannon attack, um, it'll kill that card. The nice thing about the ship cannon is it has a lot of health, so I don't have to worry too much about it just dying. Yeah, it actually with withstood all of that. That's That was quite a lot to, to take on there. Um, we got another ship cannon. Tempting, but I really think I need to get some stuff on the field. Now, what can we do here? R Russian dual strike. That would be really nice. So this, uh, this uh, dual strike. I don't know if they will take an attack very well. I don't think they will. We have five. So what I should do, since I can't really play a ship cannon and um, one of these monkeys, seep faring ape, I can't play two apes either. So what I should do is throw out another ship cannon. And then this will actually do some really decent damage. Maybe even kill some of their creatures. There we go. Amazing. And meanwhile, we're going to do six damage because this uh, this card has dual strike. That means it attacks twice. These are, these are decent plays. We actually have a chance now. Got some coin on you. Uh, you know what? I'm actually totally cool with the fact that that's the card they, they killed. If they attacked the ship cannon, that would have been better, for sure. But this is still good. After you play a pirate minion, give it two, two, plus two power and rush. Um, I really like Admiral Brass. It's a good card, but obviously um, the Seafaring Ape is just better. So now we're actually dealing damage directly to the player. If they have no cards on the field and this will just be straight player damage every time we are also about to do six damage so i i think we stand a very good chance of winning here i mean we're, we uh, we have one i don't think that there's much that they can do yeah they can kill one of my ship cannons oops that sucks all right we're good let's blow them out of the water um, I mean, like, as soon as I play this, they will actually die. Nice. So, yeah, I mean, um, I'm not going to say there's there's actually not too much luck in this game. Obviously, drawing cards, there's going to be some luck there. But, like, it's, there's, it's mostly good play, good tactics, good strategy. All right, so you'll see here we get some money. Um, we get some blade bombs. Oh, you know what I could have done, actually? This is something I haven't looked at. First of all, let's get to whatever this is. Deal damage to your minions ten times. Blitz burst. Give your damaged minions plus three power, rush, and attack medi immediately. Wow, that's really nice. I should have looked at these. Oh, pirate par party, actually. Ah, oh, this is... Hey, you know what? You know what we can do, actually? Um... Yeah, so you... If you reallocate, first of all, it's free, which I really appreciate because then you can just like try a different play style. Um, 
but I, I like I'm like I want to I want to do this one because obviously I've built a very piratey deck right so I want to have a, a benefit for pirates but I forgot we also get all of these other things here these are all all ingredients oh wait a minute they're not all ingredients bite down to make sure it's real use for mana melding right so here's what here's what we can do something I haven't really looked at too much is we can actually do card crafting again how hey now don't be too upset miss eve it ain't easy stopping a mighty pirate like myself be careful lion boy an ego like that could get you into trouble enough of this frivolous banter why are you trying to kill us and who is this a grub character you mentioned before tell us now before we end you well aren't you quite the hothead fine i'll bite i work for grub the notorious info broker of swindler's wharf he sent me to take care of your little gang wouldn't be good for business if the masses learned that the mighty Met Redcroft was actually alive and back in Swindler's Wharf, no less. A walking ghost hurts his, his bottom line. So this grub fella is the spineless lily liver spreading false rumors about me. Yeah, people have been saying that my character is dead for some reason. That card's going to regret messing with my reputation. A few pirates are all the same. If you boys have a bone to pick with grub, then I suggest you pay him a visit. His eyesore of a hideout is just west of here. Now it's about that time, caught my second wind. Catch you ruffians later. And there she goes. Come back at once, vixen. You have yet to pay for your insolence. Let her go, Braxy. We got more important things to do, like finding grub. Ain't gonna let someone send in assassins after us go about his merry way. All right, so yeah, um, we could have gone to this mana forge. I probably should have done this after my first loss. This is something I haven't really played with at all. It ain't often you stumble upon a big old furnace sitting out and and about in Swindler's Wharf. I cap and this looks to be a special type of furnace too. I love this character. I love the character design a lot in these games. In this game, oh, who's this guy? Maldler. Malder? Oh no. Mulder? Is he is he is he a believer? Did you just come to gawk? I'm trying to work here. Oi, sorry about that, pal. Uh didn't mean to offend. Scoff. Excuse me, sir, but do you happen to be a Meldon Smithy? Smithy? I'm a Meldon master. Best there is. Name's Mulder. Pleased to meet you, Mulder. I'm Redcroft, and this is my first mate, Admiral Br Admiral Brass. Mf. Captain, we should ask him if he's willing to do business. Mal Master Mulder here could meld some new cards for us. And skilled melders are hard to come by these days. He ain't the most friendly chum I've met, but if he's as good as he says he is, then I'm all for it. Doubting a master's skills, eh? Where'd you learn your manners, Redbone? It's Redcroft. You, your name could be Red Dolt for all I care. I'm willing to meld for almost anyone, as long as they got the ingredients and pro proper recipe. Appreciate the help, Master Melder. Malder. I just uh, was wondering what I was going to do with all this junk I've been collecting anyway. Only a fat-headed fool would call those precious ingredients junk. You got a lot to learn, Red Crow. Ugh. Enough chatting. Let's get Melden. I like the dialogue in this game. It is it is snappy. Oh, we got a little goblin friend. Whip Grunt. I like that. Oh, is this a pirate? Flintlock. Oh, Flintlock looks cool as heck. Battle cry, summon a ship cannon behind it, this mini. Yo! Oh, that would have been so helpful. Is this a pirate too? Cinder, snoo Cinder suit monkey. Fleeting. Death rattle. That means when it dies, deal one pyro damage. Randomly split among all enemy minions. Now, the reason that... That, that sounds bad, right? Like, that, that sounds bad. Um, but there are certain things that will, like, increase... Like every time you do pyro damage, you'll do more pyro damage. So once you have a couple of that out on the field, suddenly uh, this one cost card starts to seem really good because it's like doing a bunch of damage to the entire field. Um, what else we got? Another pirate, boom bird, rush flying. Oh, first flying card. When this minion deals damage to the enemy hero, add a bomb to their deck. And we got pyro deals five pyro damage to all minions add a bomb to your opponent's deck for each destroyed armor fairy whenever another friendly minion takes damage gain one armor um whenever you play a minion deal one damage to it and give it plus two power 
Well, dang, I mean, all of this seems really good. I definitely want a uh, flintlock because that's just amazing. Oh, we got a little animation too. I wasn't expecting that. That's adorable. Some of my best work yet, I'd say. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to go for Cinderset uh, Monkey because I don't really have... Um, I, I don't have any pyro cards to build into that. But I definitely do think that Boombird is going to do it. The thing about Boombird is it doesn't actually synergize too much with my deck. Um, Because, like, they already have Rush, and that's, like, my main thing is that I give my pirates Rush. So, it, honestly, I, I just want to make more of these uh, Flintlocks for now. Since I actually have um, cannons, what I might do is take out, um, like, a uh, Ape. Or maybe even Admiral Admiral Brass. So we can't make any more. I'm missing an ingredient. What am I missing? Oh no, I'm not. Never mind. I'm gonna skip that now. Now we can't make yeah, now we're missing some ingredients. Okay. Um so now let's go back and alter our deck slightly. Ba 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 da 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 do 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 Cutlass Swine. We could stand to take out Cutlass Swine. Oh yeah, we also have to put in our Red Wing Raid. Summon six pirate minions. How do I put this in? Like, I can just put it in. Does it not cost? Does it not count as a card? I guess this is our one legendary. Um... When did we get Barrel Mutt? Combat start, draw a random pirate minion from your deck. Triggers after pressing the Blitz button. Okay, that's weird. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, that's actually really neat. Um, let's, I, I kind of want to take out, let's take out a couple, um, Admiral Brass is great. I love Admiral B Brass, but I think that there's other things that we can be playing now. Um, I want to put in a barrel mutt and I definitely want to put in what is this now broadside boom deal five three pyro damage to a random enemy repeat for each pirate you control oh my god I'm, I'm gonna go pirate crazy let's take out our spin blades I'm starting to see potential for other things we'll put in uh, one broadside boom and one two, three flintlock pistols. Now, this is a very expensive deck now. I, I, I am aware of that. But we've got enough low-cost stuff. As long as we have a cup, a few low-cost stuff. And the nice thing about our low-cost stuff, I mean, Buccaneer is a card that's going to be relevant into the late game. I want to make sure I have enough low, low stuff so that our ship cannons are relevant. And then our ship cannons are going to stay relevant because of our flintlocks. I love that this flintlock is going to let summon a, a free ship cannon. Uh, that is just like astoundingly good. Okay, so let's see what uh, maybe we can do one more combat before I wrap up this video. I'm very I'm genuinely excited about this game. I honestly didn't know what to make of it, um, but it, it like, you know, I guess it's like card games. I, I, I feel like I've seen it all. I haven't seen this. Not not enough. This is just a really, really good card game. <laughs> and uh, I'm always down for, you know, that. That's It's just excellent. And also, I mean, it has to be said, the design, like the actual look of this game is fantastic. This certainly looks like the quarters of a gold-grubbing information trader. Blokes have definitely got money, that's for sure. Leaving the, his doubloons scattered all over the place. Black... R drags to riches. Aye, that's the story of most everyone who makes it here in Swindler's Wharf. <clears throat> How truly inspiring. Scoff all you want, Braxy. Ain't an easy to make uh, a living for yourself when, you're st when you start from nothing. Take it from me. Right you are, Cap'n, but uh, this grub fella. Making money at the expense of trading false rumors about you? It doesn't sit right with me. To be so foolish to think there's any discernible difference between the actions of a thieving pirate and one of an illicit info broker. <clears throat> All criminals are cut from the same cloth, petty, weak, and without honor. So Abraxas works for um, uh, some kind of princess, I can't remember her name, like Eleanor or something like that. And um, 
uh, our character Redcroft is indebted to her because of something. He was like wrongly accused of something. So, you know, Redcroft's got some stuff going on and he also has to be escorted by this Abraxas character who is like constantly ragging on him. Um, and, you know, we don't like Abraxas right now. I have a feeling that they're going to they're going to warm up eventually and, and actually be a, 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 you know, a decent friend later. But I could be wrong about that. What exactly are you trying to say, Braxy? You know exactly what I'm trying to say, fool. Threaten him, ignore him. That's my first dialogue choice I've, I've had to make. Talking with you about this sort of thing is like talking to a barrel of chum. Let's agree to disagree and get on with finding grub. Aye, Cap'n. Le live and let live, eh? Yes, wallow in your ignorance. Typical of a criminal, no remorse in the wake of their treachery. Black, Braxy the bra braggart. Why you? Speak again, and I'll bash your beacon, you babbling bird. Um, Redcroft. I, I I like I like these kind of little character development moments. I gotta say, is uh, Redcroft believes in a code, um, which is that like you only fight upwards. You never like uh, steal or rob or kill or like fight anyone who's lesser than you. And that way you're always improving yourself. And that also means that you're, you know, living a, a, a better kind of like fulfilling life, which I think is good. You know, I'd love to do this combat, but I'm getting the impression that this is something a bit more interesting. So why don't we end this uh, video with something a bit more compelling? So you found me. That we did. You must be the one and only Grub. Black Grub the Grotesque. Isn't this guy a card? Been looking all over for you. Yes, I know. <laughs> My loyal tipsters have been keeping tabs on you and your friends. For your friendly friends. Mighty useful to have a band of spies at your back beck and call, eh? Yes, very useful indeed. But enough about me. How can I help you today? Glad you asked. You're gonna tell your little gang of town criers to make the rounds with a revised announcement. That Redcroft the Mighty Pirate is very much alive and thriving. These rumors about me drowning at sea need to be, be put to rest. Ah, uh, so that's what you're after. Unfortunately, I can't help you, friend. You see, it would be quite the debacle if I were to formally withdraw previously sold information. The secrets I trade are always reliable. The Grub Grubber's guarantee. And if it happens that the information I've already sold is less than reliable, I'm forced to get my hands dirty to make things right. Huh? If it were to catch wind among my clientele that the nuggets of info I've sold were untrue, my entire reputation as Swindler Wharf's most reliable info broker would crumble. So what you're saying is, uh, he's going to dispose of you to protect his business. Barbaric, to say the least. The scale skin is quite the perceptive one. Don't speak to me, you chum-crusted abomination. This runt ain't gonna be disposing me. No need to worry, Braxy. Oh, but I will. I have the upper hand. I know everything about you, Crud. Redcroft. Your fears, your regrets, your biggest mistakes, your most glaring weaknesses. Are you truly the mighty pirate you claim to be? That's enough, you worm. You don't know the first thing about Captain Redcroft. Stand aside, Brass. Don't, don't need you fighting my battles for me. He's mine. This will be fun. Prepare to be personally taken care of by the one, the only, Gold Grub and Grub. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Scissors. Rock. Good old rock. Nothing beats that. All right. This is a good spread, actually. I'm very, I'm very pleased with this spread. This will be fun. What do you got? What does he got? My devious traps will make quick work of you. Uh, I best be cautious. Who knows what kind of tricks this little guy's got up his sleeve. Um, what's uh, Craven Crow Bird Feed? When you set a trap, summon two cunning crows in adjacent spaces. Okay. Well, he hasn't set a trap just yet, but I'm sure he will. Um, stupid brigade he's gonna kill my dude and i can't really do much about that 
Okay, let's just do some damage. He's actually got more, uh, Grub's got more starting health than I do, which kind of sucks. What is this? Battle cry, draw a trap. Reduce its cost to zero. Oh my god. Um, well, the good news is that we've got tons of things to play, and I've also got a flintlock, so flintlock's gonna help me play some good stuff. I'm gonna play our buckbeak. But I'm not going to play anything else right now because I want to um, play the play flintlock on the next turn. Then I'll have a cannon and then can start doing damage with passive damage. We haven't seen any traps yet. I'm a little bit worried about the traps. There's our first trap. This trap is hidden until a player what? triggers it cycle through each card to see potential traps oh god and then he gets a, a bunch of birds and we're just gonna absolutely eat it these cards are cards that die after they attack so the nice thing about the crows is they're gone but like oh good lord this is this guy is tough um okay so flintlock's got some health this is good so let's go ahead and throw him down Get that uh, ship cannon. Splort. Um, then let's just start throwing down some... I don't know if we're going to have enough room. That's a that's a problem. Well, let's just uh, play this for now. Can we play a card on top of a card? Like, can I... No, I can't. So they, they're on the field until they die. I never... I wonder if I can play a ship cannon in the back. I've never tried to do that either. That trap didn't go off, I notice. Still a little concerned about that. But the good news is we got more room. I should try and play a ship cannon in the back. Destroy at least five of your opponent's minions. These are accolades, by the way. We get um, we get some uh, rewards at the end of the game, uh, the match for those. Oh, you can put these in the back. Why have I never tried to do that? How silly of me. I could have been playing those in the back the whole time. So let's just like throw out some cannons. Oh wow, that's some. That's four player damage, six player damage, eight player damage from playing those two pirates. Amazing. Um, and we're about to do a bunch more. This, uh, this battle could swing either way, honestly. This guy didn't get rushed, by the way, because it, you only get apply a rush to one card. Oh, what's this? Some deal damage equal to the number of pirate minions you control. Okay, yeah, we should definitely do that, actually. Um, we have five, so we can actually play... Our third cannon, then play our pirate, deal six damage to whatever. Looking good. And then deal damage equal to the number of pirates minions you control to all enemies. Oh, that, that is so good. Amazing. And then we're about to deal like a ridiculous amount of damage. We win. He didn't even get to do his cool attack. So he didn't set up four attacks. That would have destroyed me. Nice. That'll teach you to rumble with the likes of me. There you go. So now we can like start to look at other stuff. Oh, I guess we got um, we got some of those extra cards from this. I didn't realize that. So we were getting we got those cards. Oh, that's a fairly gruesome card for this kind of game. Um, you get some like very playstyle specific cards. Oh, here's another uh, card: Battle Cry and Death Rattle. Add a bomb to your opponent's deck. That's kind of really fun. And then we have Cannoneer. At the start of your turn, fire a friendly cannon. I uh, I like this game a lot. Um, 
Pyre Wisp, by the way, is what uh, increases your pyro damage. So once you get a couple of those on the field, things get very exciting. Because, <laughs> like, your pyro damage is just, like, ridiculously good. So this will increase our health. We should just do that. Um, I don't have to double triple down on another card or another playstyle. Continue. So let's see. Uh, this will probably be the, the end of the Nemo, but we'll see uh, what kind of story plays out here. But how? This can't be happening. You're through, Grub. Black Grub's a dud. Please spare me. I'm more useful to you alive than dead. I can help you. Yes, I will help you. You got my attention. You need a ship, yes? Well, what if I told you that your beloved ship, the Red Wing, was here in Swindler's Wharf? The Red Wing? She's here. Our pride and joy. You best not be pulling our leg, Grub. I assure you it's true. You weren't true about Redcroft being dead. I don't know if I would trust that. Truer than me being dead? Oh, literally right there. <laughs> yes, much truer. My tipsters clued me in. Your ship is anchored southeast of here, at the far edge of Swindler's Foot. But, but what spit it out? Your ship, she has a new captain. The gentleman pirate, Loyal Coxswain. Coxswain? That no good scoundrel's got his puppy paws on my ship. Regrettably, yes. She's moored right off the coast of his hideout, Fort Bilgebaum, and heavily guarded by him and his crew. Wrangle back the Red Wing. That we will, Rigbeak. Ain't no way in hell I'm gonna let old Coxswain have my ship. I told you I could help. That you have, but you ain't off the hook just yet. You're gonna tell your tipster lackeys that I'm still alive. No more nasty rumors, you hear? Yes, yes, no more nasty rumors. <clears throat> the gold grubber's guarantee. Now that's more like it. Do you actually trust him? I'm certain he'd say almost anything to save his sorry skin. Abraxas may be right, Captain. What should we do with him? Good question. Uh, I'll be good, I swear. Teach him a lesson. Take a nap, grub. What? Oof. Sweet dreams, chum. Fine display of punishment. <laughs> I just want to know what, uh, are there going to be consequences for that? Grubber will remember that. What a lump. Brutish behavior at its most raw. Though in this singular case, I approve. Glad we're on the same page, Braxy. Rigby, search him for anything good. Someone like him is surely carrying around a valuable or two. Search and snatch. All right, gang, let's get our ship back. We're coming for you, Coxwain. We get something. What do we get? New card. Presto Gauntlet. Combat start. If you have armor, shuffle a bomb into your opponent's deck. Interesting. So that's it. That's the demo. Um, game is good. Game is very good. Game is excellent. I'm very much looking forward to this one. Um, I always mean to have this. Cross Blitz. That's a weird name for it. I won't lie. I I, I guess it. I guess it's just you know if a name is a name. But um, I I don't know. I thought I would have thought you would have. They would have gone for something pirate themed. But maybe it is pirate themed, and I'm just wrong. But <laughs> either way, I like this, and I'm I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I hope that you are as well. Maybe you have played it. Let me know in the comments. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.